All right, it was another great uh, thing I was reading last night, and then again, um, also there's a Netflix show called They Gotta Have Us, a black about black film artists, and uh, in there, one of the people pointed out that you can't, if you're not black, you can't understand what it is to be black, but because indigenous people, anyone who's subculture, uh, and I mean anyone who's subculture, so the, the dominant culture is white male, heterosexual white male, has had to study that dominant culture in order to survive. That doesn't mean it's a, a direct calculated form of studying. It's just sort of an inherent uh, necessity. And I had a little bit of an experience about that when I lived on the Navajo Reservation. So I was one of less than a handful of white kids. There were three at one time, two for the majority. I think it got up to four or five. Anyway, I was not uh, um, prepared as a nine-year-old and all the way through 13 for that kind of experience of being a minority. And and being in a position of danger because of the color of my skin. So I learned not very well to try to read other people in order to stay safe. However, even though I was a minority and, and white to a minority, we still shared, not me as a kid, but the adults still shared a disproportionate percentage of power positions as educators, administrators, doctors, nurses, that kind of thing. That's changed, thank God. But it means that even though I was experiencing a small, small, small scale version of what it's racism, I guess, I mean, tiny, like minuscule, almost not enough to even mention. The point is even though I was a minority in that situation, all of the, and you know, Navajo, Pima, Hopi, all of the Indian kids, Native American, indigenous kids that I was with and the adults, they still had to constantly be aware, even on the reservation, I suspect, I don't know this, right? And I would love someone to reach out and share. I suspect they still had to be aware of how to keep themselves safe and a dominant white culture. So that's a real thing to think about, right? That's like, wow. They were pointing out in the film, like it's easier for a black person to get into the mind of a white person making when they're writing or directing or acting in a film, but not vice versa.